Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. I am... Oh, I thought something fell. Anyway, I am in the wilderness this weekend and I thought that I would take you along with me. So, it is a long weekend and I promised myself not to do any work as much as I love my job and love my side hustle. But I'm going to try not to do any work. I yesterday was a public holiday, Friday the 2nd of April, today is the 3rd of April, 3rd, 3rd of April. Um, I did record a podcast episode with a life coach that will probably be going live next week, which I'm so excited, it was so amazing. But then I promised myself that I am going to switch off and unwind and just have like a romanticizing life weekend so what i mean is just like seeing everything happen like in a romantic way um so i am in the wilderness now and i'm getting distracted by like all the birds and the butterflies and stuff just flying like right in front of me which is so beautiful so i'll show you what the place looks like that i'm staying in um i'm staying here saturday sunday and then monday leaving um, it's just like full, it's basically a treehouse I would say. It is full with so much greenery and forest and beautiful flowers and it's just so beautiful to be inside of, inside of nature, to be around nature. Um, it's just so incredible. I think that everyone should romanticize their life. And it's not only like about going, you know, to different places, you can do it like within your own house um just seeing everything as if it was in a storybook and romanticizing your life is not about like being in a relationship or anything like that it's just about like doing those special things for yourself whether it is making yourself a cup of coffee with love going for a walk with love reading a book with love or watching a movie with love every just doing everything and seeing everything with love um that's basically how i want my life to be so yeah, I, I, every time when I do remember it or I have to remind myself to see life like that and in that way everything and your life can just be so much more majestic and not you, you won't see things so difficult and in that way you attract you know love and ease within your life and that's what my life is about and um, the same like with work I remind myself every day that it is fun, it is easy, it is, you know, the process that I need to go through in life. It This is the path that I need to be on. It, you know, rather than seeing things as like being so difficult and a struggle and yeah, those are no words that I want to have in my vocabulary, but I want to take you along with me this weekend. I think I'm going to do like really exciting stuff and yeah, maybe this can give you an idea of how to kind of like romanticize your life whether you are at home or out somewhere. glitter all over my face but that's because I'm wearing a glitter mask and um, oh yeah so um, this place is actually listed on Airbnb so I'm going to see if I can drop the link down below if it is a place that you want to visit um, I'm not I can't remember the price but again I'll drop it down below so that you can have all the details if this is the place that you want to stay at which I think that everyone should you should if you can't afford it now save up money
so I'm just going for a walk. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, yeah? Check this. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. Um, I thought the pathway was like really long, but I hear the road. So I think that I'm heading to the road. I just wanted to take a walk because I've, I've seen that people were jogging here. And then I thought, let me just see, you know, what the trail is like. But I should have probably gone the other way because this way leads to the road. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to be in this beautiful nature. There's obviously houses on the right hand side. Um, but it's just like a secluded kind of like section of housing. I don't know if it's mostly Airbnbs or if people actually live here. This is like the perfect house, the white picket fence literally. And then they have like a beautiful thing to sit under. I would think like it's perfect for people <laughs> getting married. <gasps> but you know, this neighborhood is just so perfect. So it was the end, end of the road, but it wasn't. Um, it was just like saying that there's a speed bump and yeah, there's a stop sign coming up. But it's like, it just feels so surreal. I feel like I am dreaming, like my brain is foggy. I know I said that previously, but it's just because, I mean, I even put my gym clothes in going on like holiday, or even if it's just a getaway, I put my gym clothes in, like who am I? <laughs> um, I think it's just part of being, um, growing up and being mature and doing what is best for your house. But yeah, this, this neighborhood is just so nice. I am back from my walk and we are just going to go and get some supper or maybe I should say lunch because we didn't eat yet. just got back from dinner it was so so lovely the food was amazing the service was great i never usually order like dessert but i did and it was so so great i'll put some pics of what we had to eat i had some avamaki also garlic bread and then like a chocolate fondue dessert but i am back home now at the airbnb and it is insanely dark but I can see all the stars. I literally feel like I can see the galaxy. I haven't seen so many stars probably in my entire life. And there's a, I don't know if it's a moth or a butterfly, but let me show you the darkness. morning everyone it is a sunday today i think it's the fourth of um april and i am sitting at the beach oh it's such a such a pretty day i'm sitting in the sun my boyfriend is there flying was he flying his drone in the shed but i wanted to get some sun i hope that you are doing amazing 
everything has just been so great so far it's just you know tip for romanticizing your life is definitely to be grateful for everything that you know you have around you and you just see everything with gratitude and in that way you will attract more things i'm not sure if i said that yesterday but that is like my number one thing um and in that way like last night we went out for supper and the service was great from when we walked in there to like um the food to the dessert to the waiter we even like almost lost our cockies but it was more like of a funny thing than anything um than like a panic state and you're yeah, waking up this morning uh, quite early um hearing like the birds and stuff and just like getting coffee and tea and going out and seeing what like the view looks like is just absolutely incredible um but you can you can do this like in your normal day-to-day -day life when i go to work i you know i'm just like thankful that i get to do these things i get to drive on the road um yeah so i think the tip is basically just to be to show gratitude there are a few people on the beach but not really at the section i can see like in the distance that there are people anyway i'll show you what the beach looks like and then we're probably gonna go not canoeing um rowing or something like that later today i think so there's also like a restaurant it's actually a hotel right there that i think we're going to go and see it's called the views hotel we're going to obviously because of the beautiful view that it sees we're going to try and go get some coffee or breakfast depending um obviously i already had like the pancakes with peanut butter if you think that's weird i totally understand <laughs> um that was what i could get at the store um, but yeah, we're gonna see if we can maybe get some coffee or get some breakfast. I don't know. I'm, I'm quite full And then yeah, have have a great rest of the day Hey guys, so I'm at home now. It is around 7 o'clock. I just got done, showered. My hair is obviously still wet, but I'm just letting it dry. I put in a bit of makeup. This is kind of my outfit. I got this new like mom jeans. I'll show you. I'll put like a pickle. I'll take a video of what it looks like. Um, and then I put in my Chanel makeup. <laughs> I was going to put on makeup, but then I don't know if you can like see the eyeshadow in the dark anyway. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going out let me just you know be a whole vibe but i'm just busy doing my um sunday night class for eft tapping every single sunday and then we're gonna go probably get some pizza or something like that literally just training from city basically everywhere you're basically from everywhere Good morning everyone, today is Monday, I think it is maybe around 9 o'clock now and today is my last day at this beautiful place and you know while saying that I just realized that I need to keep romanticizing <laughs> uh, because it is easy to forget like when life happens, my is a little bit bushy, when life happens and you know, you're just go back into your old habits like with old moods or those types of things but it's just 
be reminded to see the beauty in everything and yeah you know, it's just it's absolutely breathtaking in here um i'm not too sure what the plan is for today maybe it is to get some breakfast um i don't know but i have my laptop over here i just want to do some meditation or something so i'm going to use this um i was also just looking through emails this morning while i was having coffee but it wasn't like work emails it was more like um just from uh some pages that i follow uh yeah i was about to read the story of this girl that dropped or left her cushy job and cushy life basically to move to hawaii because she was experiencing a lot of stress and anxiety anyway i'm gonna chat to you later because obviously the noise i'm not sure what that is about it is just before 10 and I have to leave now. It's so sad to say goodbye to this beautiful place. This is the bathroom. It has like such a cool wooden door type of thing. Um, but yeah, it's just so sad to say goodbye. This place was absolutely beautiful. I think five days here yeah, would be preferable. It is called um, Just For You Two, like literally two. And there's like three cottages or three villas or units, whatever you want to call it. This is the top one, which is called the Louis. I'll link the details down below. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.